In a world so torn apart by rivalry, anger, and hatred, we have the privileged vocation to be living signs of a love that can bridge all divisions and heal all wounds. Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael, along with the rest of the team. That beautiful quote was from Henri Nouwen about love, about what we're being called to this day and each day of our lives as we join together in prayer. Welcome to the God Minute. We begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 22 I know you have me. God, my God, why would you abandon me now? Why do you remain distant, refusing to answer my tearful cries of help in the night? I can't stop sobbing. Where are you, my God? Since the day I was born, I've been placed in your custody. You've cradled me throughout my days. I've trusted in you, and you've always been my God. So don't leave me now. Stay close to me. For trouble is all around me and there's no one else to help. Now I'm completely exhausted. I'm spent. Every joint of my body has been pulled apart. My courage has vanished. I'm so thirsty and parched. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. Lord, my God, please don't stay far away, for you are my only help, my might and strength. Won't you come quickly to my rescue? Give me back my life. Save me from this roaring lion raging against me. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The short reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 to 45. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. This is a difficult reading because it is so hard to love your enemies. One of the things that this is not is it does not mean that our enemies suddenly become our friends. If we are to love our enemies, they are still our enemies. And unless we have enemies, we cannot love them. Enemy is a word taken from the Latin. Do you, do you know what it means? Enemy means not a friend. So it's impossible for a friend to be an enemy or for an enemy to become a friend. They're mutually exclusive. I'm thinking of the scriptures where Jesus says, be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect. Do you know what perfect means? It's a word from the Greek. Perfect means complete. And it means starting on the journey to being complete. So, When Jesus asks us to be perfect, it's a goal. We'll never reach perfection, as the Heavenly Father has reached perfection. But we need to be on the journey. And to do that, we must love our enemies. 
That means several things. In the scripture, he tells us, pray for your enemies. Do good to those who persecute you. This does not mean that we have to approve of what they do. It does not mean that we have to continue to allow our enemies to hurt us or to hurt those we love. Do you know what happens when we do that? That means we're not loving ourselves. Don't forget, we always have to include ourselves among the people that we love. And love is a strange word, isn't it? We apply it to almost everything that we like. I just love to take a walk in the woods. I have love for my geraniums that are on the porch. I love my cat. I love my dog. I have love for the whales. I am a friend of the libraries. You know, love we apply to everything. But the love that Jesus is talking about is different than all those. The love that Jesus is talking about is to have compassion for another human being, to make effort, any effort we can to come and know and understand them better. No matter how bad we think they are, no matter how horrible we think the things that they have done are, we have to give them sincerity and we have to believe that they are acting in good faith, even though it's so apparent that they might not be. We have to entrust ourselves, and we have to entrust our enemies to the mystery of life that has assigned us different roles, and many times they're opposing roles that we need to play out with love. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking two things. I'm thinking Vladimir Putin. He's a difficult man to say, I love you. Isn't it? Isn't that tough? How can we love him? He started a war. He's killed thousands of innocent people and children. How can we love him? Well, in this case, I would say we can pray for him. We can trust that he's acting with conviction. We might doubt it, but he is a child of God, believe it or not. And what about that gunman that killed all those children in Texas? That young man, 18 years old. How can we love him? He has done something so heinous. It even brought tears to my eyes, and I'm sure it did to yours too. We can pray for him too. We can hope that he gets to heaven. It does not mean, again, love does not mean that we want to be stranded on a desert island with that person or we want to be locked in a room with them. I certainly don't. But it just means that we don't become like them in our attitude to hurt other people. And it also means that we try to protect ourselves from them hurting us. So, my friends, this reading is very powerful but very difficult. And let me conclude this way. The only way we can do it the only way it is possible for us to love our enemies and for us to pray for those who persecute us is to have God's help. He's the only one that can help us. It's a supernatural thing. Us humans, with our natures, we cannot do it by ourselves. Only with God. So, let me conclude by saying, go with God and God love you. For an increase of love in our hearts and that of our brothers and sisters, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. 
O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our petition that we may love you and our brothers and sisters, knowing that through your goodness and your help, we can do all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before we close today, I know it's a a week and a day later, but I just want to say thank you for all your love and support and prayers. Last week, I wanted to go through all those beautiful emails, and it took me a little bit of time, but I just can't say enough how grateful I am for your love and your support. Let's keep praying for each other. Do take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.